here's the thing. We always think of biotechnology as being, oh, it's in San Francisco. Oh, it's in Boston. And that's not really true. There are incredible things happening all over the world. And in all, of all places, Vancouver, Washington? I don't know. We're going to find out. So please welcome to the stage the founder, CEO, and the most fabulous dancer of all time of Absci, Sean McLean, and Built With Biology's very own CEO, Frank Tate, who is not a fabulous dancer. Cheers, you guys. That is true. You want to be this? Here, you, you All right, go for here. it. Frank, I'm pretty sure you're a way better dancer yeah. than I am. Yeah, you should have a dance You're off. dead wrong. We, we, we'll do that later. So, you guys, I'm so excited about this session because, as you know, I'm new to biology. And um, because of the music business, how we find new talent is we go out and check out the clubs and, and um, the, you know, see what the competition is doing. So, but I took over as CEO in the middle of the pandemic, so there wasn't a lot of travel available. But then I, I was introduced to, to Sean, and they're up in Vancouver, Washington, of all places. So I, I was able to fly up there, you fly into Portland and you take a left. And when I got to their lab, I was blown away because I expected to see these boring, sterile, Costco looking like labs. And I get in and I feel like I'm in one of the coolest buildings I've ever been in. So I immediately assume that, that Sean has been in this business forever and his parents like, gave him a bunch of money and he inherited it. And that uh, he was, because we have that in the music business all the time, some dad will give his kid 10 million bucks to start a label and, and then he blows through it. But <laughs> when I saw your lab, I was in awe. And, but I'm even more impressed when I heard his story. So I want to ask first if you could share with them your story because it's so untraditional from what I was expecting. Yeah, definitely. So I founded Absci 10 years ago with really the, the, the vision of transforming how we do protein-based biomanufacturing. And I was uh, studying at the, the University of Arizona, studying molecular biology and, and biochemistry, and just got really obsessed with synthetic biology. And if you look at the history of biotech, it began with Genentech, and Genentech's first product was insulin, and they're making insulin in E. coli. And as you all know, the industry shifted to monoclonal antibodies. Well, Genentech actually tried to produce a monoclonal antibody in E. coli, but E. coli wasn't capable of, of manufacturing it. So they switched to Cho cells or mammalian cells, and by making that transition, the cost went up and development times went up. And I knew that if we could apply engineering principles uh, to engineering E. coli to be more mammalian, like it would be a huge game changer within right. the industry. And so I decided to come up with this crazy idea on how to engineer E. coli to produce a monoclonal antibody and, and uh, moved back in with uh, my, my parents and convinced my fiance actually at the time to move in with my parents as, <laughs> as, as well, awesome. uh, which was, uh, you know, trying times, uh, you know, right. uh, living, living with the, the fiance while starting a, a business. And right. we got this 200 square foot basement lab in downtown Portland and spent 18 months doing all the strain engineering and, and showing we could actually produce an antibody in E. coli, and that was, you know, 10, 10 years ago. And, and uh, we, we were able to get a large pharma partnership from there, which was, you know, led to great uh, success. And they actually tried to acquire us at that point in time. And, and we were able to use that to go raise our Series A. Because let's be honest, there's no VC that was going to give me any money graduating from the University of Arizona, undergrad, living in Portland, Oregon, well, Van you know, Vancouver, Washington. Like, that is right. not the recipe that most VCs look at for, for success. So we were able to use that, that success that, that we had from that acquisition offer to raise our, our Series A and, and continue to build out the, the, the technology. And we've just continued to evolve over time and seen where the industry is going. That's the, the, the beautiful part about uh, the, the company and like where we're at. We always believe in the impossible and, right. and we're always uh, innovating and looking at ways of, of where the industry is, is headed and how can we adapt to that to ultimately get better drugs to patients. And you know, fast forward to, to where we're at to, today, we, we ended up adapting all of this technology for, for data acquisition for protein-protein interactions, being able to manufacture them and, and actually leverage that data for uh, or with AI to ultimately be able to uh, look at the right search space right. for a given you know, uh, a target or indication, designing the you know, better biologics that ultimately get to patients much, much faster. But uh, it. yeah, it's been, a, it's been an exciting journey yeah. over the last 10 years. Okay, so I want to summarize what he just said, because we just blew through a decade there. <laughs> but for you racers that are in the audience today, and for the, the um, people that have been here all week, we have 550 new uh, students and startups here today. But what this story is, is that Sean went to the University of Arizona at an undergraduate level, moved back in with his parents, 10 years in the trenches, and now he's the youngest CEO of a publicly held biotech company ever, right? 
I, I believe that's I believe the case, so? yeah. Okay, so let's beat him. He was 32. <laughs> but I think erasers can beat him. And so, but the, and now, so the cool thing is with all the tools and technologies available, it, like he didn't have to go to grad school. He just got funded, brought him into this amazing lab, and now you guys, yeah. tell him about uh, the AI stuff that you're doing, because that blows my mind. Yeah, I just want to say, though, like, we shouldn't be where, where we're at. We shouldn't have been a publicly traded company doing what we're, what we're doing now. But it's because we, we believed in the impossible. We knew that it was possible to engineer biology, to, to integrate that with AI, and, and to ultimately you know, see our vision through of getting the best biologics to, to, to patients at truly unprecedented speeds. And that's what, like, you know, the racers here, and just always remember that everything is, is, is possible. It's all about chipping away one problem at a time. And a lot of times you, you look back and you realize, oh my gosh, we've accomplished an extraordinary amount of, of, of you know, work uh, over, over this period of time and, and, and have really turned the, the impossible into, into possible. Oh, but it's, it's yeah. a mindset. That's yeah. what it, it is at, at the end of the right. day. Well, and that's what I love about this, this proof point here because the guys, the George Churches and Drew Indies and, and Jason Kelly's, all those guys, they had to pave a way for, you, for this story to be possible. And, and now for you guys, your racers, now this story is so possible that Sean, you should only hold that title for a couple of years. I mean, we should have a younger CEO of a publicly held company that could be in this audience right now. But the thing I'm also excited about, when I heard about your new partnership, it literally blew my mind because it's one of my favorite companies. So can you tell us about the deal that you did with NVIDIA? Yeah, so we uh, announced a, a really exciting partnership with NVIDIA a, a few weeks ago at the NVIDIA GTC conference. And NVIDIA partners with, with those that are activating ecosystems within an industry. And the reason why they partnered with, with us is they saw what we were doing in the AI space for protein-based drug discovery and, and the huge breakthroughs we actually have, uh, that, that we've had. Uh, we've been able to actually show that you can take an antibody sequence and be able to predict the, the affinity that it would bind to, to, to the target. And not only that, generate an antibody that has the desired affinity that, that you want, which is a huge breakthrough. And this partnership is, is helping us and, and the industry accelerate our, our models and other models uh, using their, their compute. It's ensuring that the compute and the software is, is going to be amenable for, for biology and, and healthcare. And like, we couldn't be more excited to be partnering with uh, a company like uh, NVIDIA. And you know, Jensen, the, the CEO of NVIDIA, I mean, he's uh, super uh, inspirational to me and in, like, what he's, he's right. accomplished over, you know, over the years. I mean, right. I mean, talk about another company that has you know, pivoted from a, from a graphics uh, right. uh, you know, uh, uh, company to, to a company that's going to help power the metaverse. I mean, right. you, you see these companies and these, these entrepreneurs like evolve over time and it's just really extraordinary and to be able to partner with somebody, uh, you know, uh, with, with Jensen and NVIDIA, I mean, it's just, it's, it. it's really amazing. Yeah, I love it. The other thing I love is that they're in Vancouver, Washington, which every where, time... Where is that? Yeah, exactly. Here, oh, I love Canada. I hear that all the time. <laughs> but this is another amazing proof point for us because we've been so young before, we've been very Bay Area and Boston. And now in, in the last year, what kind of headcount have you added there? Yeah, I think we've added uh, like over 140 in, in employees over the last uh, year, year and a half, uh, and, and we're just continuing to grow. We're about 240. Uh, we call ourselves uh, unlimiters at, at Absize. So we're 240 unlimiters. We'll be up to 300 by, by the end of the year, and, and we actually just opened up a re, uh, uh, an AI research lab in, in New York that we're going to be continuing to grow out. And so, uh, yeah. yeah. I love it. So the, the whole purpose of this session, you guys, is to let you know that we're, at a, we're definitely at a, a pivot point in the story right now, a very exciting one, one that you have an undergraduate degree, you can move in with your parents, and you can be the CEO of a publicly held company in the middle of nowhere. I mean, Vancouver's literally, it's Portland suburb, right? But it's amazing. And you can buy a house for half a million dollars. And the schools are amazing. So we, I wanted Sean to come up here to encourage all of you, wherever you're from, Start there, man. We can, we can take this thing beyond the coast, just like in the music business. It went from LA and New York to Nashville and Austin. So we want to be everywhere with that. 
and uh, I, we're actually going to be doing a field trip up to their offices, uh, up to their lab, because I want everybody to see that. So if you'd be interested in going with us up to Portland and taking a left, just reach out to info at builtwithbiology.com. It'll probably be in the next, yeah. whenever his schedule comes down. But you guys got to see this place, because we want to inspire you to do even greater things. I don't want him to have this title for more than two years. Two years, I want a sub-30 person. I, I'm, I'm hoping like six months. Six months. Yeah. Okay, six months. So it's so great to see everybody. Abside, yeah. check out their website. They're incredible. And uh, we're super grateful for you, Sean. Thank you for doing yeah, this. Yeah, hey, thanks so much, Frank. Yeah. Thanks all. Right. all.